Hi everybody, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a video this is mainly because I haven't had a lot of time to do them on my days off I've been going to rock gigs and things like that and I don't do videos on days that I'm working so I've been very limited to doing videos but I've got a week off coming up very soon and hopefully I'll be able to get a few done and catch up on the figures that I've got um, that I haven't done videos on yet but what I thought I'd do this time is a video that I've been promising for a long time it's the Hot Toys Tony Stark Workshop version figure. In my opinion, uh, the best set you can get. Um, it's not possibly not the best Tony Stark. I think the new version that's coming out uh, within the next week or so, or within the next month anyway, um, it's got a better head sculpt. So what I'll probably do is buy the head sculpt for that and swap it over onto this one. Uh, but this is the best one that I've seen out of all the Tony Starks that have been released. What I'm going to do with this video is basically just show you exactly what comes with this kit. Um, it's purely all it's going to be and a few little things that I've added. Um, if you've already got this figure you can probably see one of the things that I've already added which is the headset but I'll come on to that when I get to it. So I'll just give you a head to toe look at the figure and then show you everything that comes in this kit. does have light up features. Um, I haven't got the arc reactor lit up purely because um, I haven't taken the little tab out the back because uh, I don't want the battery to leak so I haven't bothered with that but I will show you the light up feature on the hand. So accessory wise first thing we'll do is we'll look at the base. I haven't got it assembled I've just got it laid out but it is huge. Um, all these parts here are hidden underneath here when you put it together and this bit um, you use to tighten it up basically to hold it all together by pushing it in the top. These are just um, very thick card pieces that go around the base. But I thought I'd just lay it out so you can get an idea of what it looks like when it would be completed. It does have a light up feature as well. The stand which does come out does light up. In the background um, you can see in that box there if you check back on the previous video that I've done this is an extra accessory pack that was released um, towards the end of last year. I think it's a San Diego Comic Con um, exclusive and this is bits that you can add to this kit. So the first accessory we'll look at is the robot arm. It is fully articulated. The wheels do swivel round and they rotate. A bit difficult to show you this one handed. But the um, piston arms here do move. Uh, if I can get it to go, there you go. Forwards, quite a long range of movement, and backwards. Also, the arm pivots up and down. The end does move left and right as you can see and the pincers do move as well so you could have that holding something if you wish very nicely detailed I'm sure you people have all seen videos on this before but I did have someone ask me if I could do a video on this figure because he's thinking of getting it um, that was a long time ago though so I do apologize to that person taking so long to do this video. But if you're asking me is this figure worth buying? Yes it is if you're a big fan of Iron Man. It is quite expensive now. Um, I got this one relatively cheap but it is quite expensive. Um, a, an extra thing that I bought is the suitcase. This is from the uh, Mark V suit from Iron Man 2 I believe. Um, this is the, the suitcase that he takes with him when he's on the racetrack and it opens up 
to give him the Mark V suit. Doesn't open, it's a bit of a shame, but I just wanted to add this to this little collection. You got the little tool here, which is used um, if you want to put these leg pieces on. It's a good idea to twist the pants, push the leg piece up, and then use this to push the trousers down so it doesn't all ruffle up too much around the knee. So that's quite a handy thing to have. Got the spare wrist pegs. Got an array of hands. Uh, we'll go on to the normal hands first. You've got two fisted hands. You've got these two hands which are used for holding uh, various tools that come in this kit. And he's got two of these normal relaxed hands. Now when the figure comes out of the box, um, he has the two normal arms on and the two normal legs. So I'll just show you the foot. Uh, this is the boot that I took off to put the leg piece on. It's sculpted plastic, it's not laces or anything like that, so it's all one piece. There you are, it's in focus now at last. Very nice detail on the boots. Um, here's his other arm that I pulled off. And then he comes with two of these arms. These do have light up features. If it'll focus, you can see the switch there. There's the little tab. This hand isn't a light up hand, so the fisted hand's already come on. And the good thing about this is it's magnetized. So you put this, push this part into the arm first, and then just clip straight on. Very simple. He comes with several um, suited hands. These are all articulated fingered hands as well, and they're all got the light up feature. So you've got the normal hands here. And then you have two of these which have got the bent up wrist for using in this pose that I've got him in. I'll show you that in a bit more detail when I come on to the figure. Um, there's the other fisted hand that I just pulled off. This is the normal uh, wrist plate that you can see on this arm. And then you've got the bent up wrist plate, which is used for the bent up wrist, which again is already on the figure. He comes with two of the suited feet one of which I've already got on the figure and it does have a little bit of toe articulation but nothing major really no light up feature in the base these are the legs that you can actually put on the figure see it's hollow all the way down really nice detailing on this I will give you a better look at these pieces uh, a little bit later in the video it also comes with these two parts of the suit. I think this is um, part of the arm. I'm not 100% sure. Let's try and get it to focus. It's quite a nice detailing on it. There's no moving parts on this. It's just a solid piece. Just used for display purposes on the workbench. Great detail, great paint apps as well and then you've got um, one of the legs again no moving parts on this but it's absolutely stunningly made really is nicely done you have to see this in person to really appreciate it come to the figure in a little while over this side we have the workbench. This is exactly the same workbench as you get with um, the Joker figure. And with that set at the back, it does have another uh, bench like this as well. Comes with blueprints. Only one sided though. There's three different types of blueprint there. Um, I'll show you in a bit more detail. Hopefully the light won't glare off it too much. 
shows you one of the suits. I believe it could be the Mark 7 suit, I'm not 100% sure. Here's uh, another one, close up of the head unit and the shoulders. And then you've got this one here, which is uh, detailing of the art reactor. It's also got this little um, Expo magazine. It does open up. And it has got stuff inside, and you can read it. Uh, it's a bit difficult to pick out on this camera. Um, but you can actually read it, and it's got actual pictures from the movie as well. Comes with, uh, this is uh, one of the elbow joints for the suit. It's just little bits that they've added. Um, then you've got the neck collar. If you wanted to put um, on the suit, you have to put this on to show the Tony Stark head sculpt. It also comes with this other light up hand with articulated fingers. There's quite a few hands in the set. Next we have his camcorder. Let's try and get this into the light. Hopefully it will focus. A bit dark here today. Would have been nice if it had a picture on the inside there. But that does close up as well. <coughs> and it's got clear plastic on the front for the lens. Could also use this if you're going to do um, a kit bashed Alice figure from Resident Evil because she obviously has a camcorder so you could use that for that if you wish. Or you could place it in the pincers. It's got these two little sets of wires, white and blue. Working pincers, these are metal. With a plastic handle. Uh, it's got clippers working as well. These are metal. Got a, a metal screwdriver. Also got this headset. This is the one that comes with the kit. The one on the figure is slightly different. And I'll go over that difference uh, when I get to the headset. Hopefully this will focus. There we go. Quite delicate. We have a spare faceplate for one of the helmets. with nice detailing inside doesn't have the magnetized strips on the top so you can't place it onto a face mask onto one of the head sculpts anyway and also um, a non light up suited he uh, helmet the face plate doesn't lift it's just one solid piece come on focus damn you there we go. You could put it on one of the suits if you wish. Not sure if it will fit. And finally on to the figure itself. And you can see with the head sculpt, very lifelike, really good lightness to Robert Downey Jr. Great paint apps on it. Does have a little sideburns down the side. Uh, you might be able to see a bit better on the other side. Maybe not because of the headpiece. But this is um, an extra bit that I got. This headset um, is from the uh, Tony Stark mechanic version from Iron Man 3. 
the said the face plate or the headset underneath is almost identical to the one you get with this kit which is this one but the main difference is if you see over this eye he's got a decal on the eyepiece but with this bit you don't have it which is one of the main reasons why I bought bought this and the piece over the top of his head is the holographic piece let's just take him off the stand here so I can move him around a bit better this is the holographic headpiece from the mechanic version um, I just wanted to add it to this set because I thought it looked better and it does fit this head sculpt okay so if people are wondering does it fit the other Tony Stark's head sculpts uh, it does with this one anyway um, there you can see his little sideburn let's say great paint details really good lightness um, you can just about see his arc reactor under his top so I'm not going to switch it on because uh, I don't want it to leak really nice tailored clothing that's what he looks like with the boot the um, suited boot on they're very easy to put on here's the uh, suited arm Just trying to get it to focus it's really difficult there we go I'll put him back on the stand in a minute and I'll show you with a light up version uh, just spin him round to the back nice detailing on the clothing I have had the mechanic version of this figure and because I've had it I would say this one is definitely better better looking figure so I'll pause the video here put him back on the stand and show you the light up feature okay here's the light up feature nice and bright get that with both arms as I said earlier but all in all uh, a fantastic look figure what I'll do is I'll shut up now and I'll just run over the camera over all the accessories again so you can hopefully get a little bit of a better look at them I am thinking about getting the gantry as well to add to this uh, but I'm not in any hurry to get it this is um, very thin metal on top and a little bit of plastic but if you've got the um, so if you've got the Joker figure you'll know that see my Hulk in the background there I still haven't got anywhere to put him yet and there's the extra accessory pack which if you've got this um, item it's, it's, it's not bad it's worth getting um, especially for these pieces right here they fit on the biceps and you can see them on the picture in the background which when I come to display this figure I will have them on him so there you go there's the workshop version figure um, see if I've got any information for you I've just sold two of my figures uh, since my last video um, I sold my Avengers version of Captain America that's purely because I've got the Winter Soldier version on the way which I think is a better looking figure I've also sold the Winter Soldier as well um, this is because he's a nice looking figure um, but when I had him displayed it's just one of those figures that I didn't really look at I just passed by him um, so I decided to sell him off 
Um, I am selling my two Chitari Warrior box set figures. Um, bit of a reluctant sale, but because of the figures that I've got on order, um, I'd prefer to have the money for them. So that's why they're going. I might get rid of a few others. Um, videos that I've got on the way. Um, I've still got to do my Robocop figure video. I've just got Star Boost, the Iron Man suit Star Boost. So that'll be another one. Uh, the next figure that I should get within the next week is the Maleficent figure from the Disney movie Sleeping Beauty. So I should be getting that one soon. So I'm keeping away from the TV because there's a nude scene coming up. Uh, in case you're wondering, that is Enter the Dragon in the background. Um, I'll probably get done for copyright now. But yeah, there you go. That's my latest video. Uh, sorry it's been a while in coming. Um, but hopefully, as I say, when I get my week off, um, I should be able to catch up on all my videos. So until then, as always, thanks for watching.